Hello, Lake Ridge family. We come together today to talk to you guys about the coronavirus. Before we get there, introductions first. Hi, Tierra Harris, principal at Longfellow. Hi, Chris Bamakovich, principal at Calumet. And when we look at the coronavirus, I think one of the important phrases that comes to my mind is prior preparation prevents poor performance. Uh, we had a district meeting yesterday, and Mr. B, cover some of those notes. Fellow warriors, as our school district continues to monitor information regarding the COVID-19 coronavirus, our district leadership team developed a plan which we would like to share with you. Uh, this plan includes proactive steps to ensure what is best uh, for the health of our students, staff, and community, and also preparation for continued student learning in the event that we have an extended interruption to our normal school day. Here are some guidelines that we will go into effect today. Tierra? At this time, we are canceling all field trips that are scheduled. We will take future events that are to be held at Lake Ridge schools within our school district. We will take that on a case-by-case -case decision. So right now, please know that all field trips are being canceled. And again, we are just being proactive to help keep our school community safe. All right, I'm going into closed campus. So uh, at Calumet New Tech High School, we have a closed high school campus during lunch, uh, which has been a policy for several years. The most compelling reason, as you know, to have a closed campus during lunch is the same reason that elementary and middle school campuses are closed, and that is school safety and student safety. When students leave our campus without permission, uh, it can place the lives of students at risk while they travel, it increases the risk of truancy, tardiness, or ditching. It creates an opportunity for students to make poor, unsupervised choices. It creates a safety risk for the entire school campus. Please listen carefully to this. We are not allowing any visitors into our building that are not there for official school business. For example, if you need to go to the high school to get a transcript or if you are bringing your student in tardy at the middle school or if you need to do an early dismissal at the elementary school, any of those reasons are official school business at all of our schools. Those are allowed. However, visitors that may be on break from college or our formal students that want to come just in and visit or even adults just visiting classrooms. At this time, we are putting a stop to that. Also, one other thing that we are going to halt at the time are food deliveries. And this goes for our students and staff. We are not allowing any Grubhub, Uber Eat deliveries. Um, parents and guardians, please know that birthday cupcakes, birthday juice boxes, any kind of food from the outside, we are not allowing to be brought into the school building during the day. So please make sure you are here to that just for the safety of our staff and students. And safety is the number one key. That's exactly what we're trying to do is keep our schools safe. With that being said, our maintenance department has been doing a great job at keeping our schools clean. We have disinfectant wipes everywhere. We have hand sanitizer uh, we've been using the um, Virex 2, which is uh, EPA approved, um, to keep our schools clean and safe. So those are some of the notes that we talked about yesterday. But parents, guardians, grandparents, community members, we need your help too. We cannot do this alone. Um, so we have a list of things uh, that we need your help with. The first of those being washing hands. Planet, parents and guardians. Please, please make sure that you are teaching the proper way to wash hands. We are attaching a link to this video that will be below that we have shared with our students of all ages on the proper way to wash hands. It is a 20 second rule. Please watch the video yourself and just make sure that you are reinforcing that. And we're doing the same things at our schools. Another rule of thumb, coughs, please make sure that you and that your children are coughing in the elbow um, or either coughing and covering your mouth with a tissue. Again, this is just preventative maintenance and trying to help with the spread of germs. Uh, thank you, Tira. And in order to uh, get as much information 
as we can in order to help us prepare for this. Uh, we are going to um, give a, a survey to all of our parents. Uh, so that dis so that sharing of the survey with our parents will be to obtain important information uh, to assist us in preparations for the possibility of remote learning. So questions will include uh, whether or not your home has internet access, how many Lake Ridge New Tech School students live with you, um, how many personal electronic devices are in your home, including desktop computers, laptops, iPads, or mm -hmm. tablets. Um, there may be some questions in there uh, in the event that your children may be cared for in another location while you're at work. We would like to know technology needs and information in the household in which your kids will be staying. And yeah, it goes back to the prior preparation prevents poor performance. And that's what that survey is for. It's very important that you fill that out. Um, we also want to remind everyone that um, all students, they have to be fever free and vomit free for 24 hours. Um, parents and guardians, please contact our nurses. Um, tell them that, hey, they're not fever free or vomit free. They will excuse them for the day. A reminder, you have to do that each day. Okay, make sure you call in each day um, to the appropriate school. Um, so that we can excuse you if your or excuse your son or your daughter if they are sick. And again, our goal as a district is to keep you as updated as we possibly can. Please check out our district website. On there, you will find important coronavirus updates. Um, we have posted some links to help keep you and your family just informed on what's going on in the world as well with this outbreak. So please make sure to take a look at our website and check out that important information. Next up, travel policy. While we do not have a current policy for traveling, uh, our district is looking into creating one uh, for the uh, near future. Uh, we would just encourage you to inform yourselves as much as possible. An excellent source of information uh, is the CDC website. Uh, it lists countries that are at a level three, level two, or level one in terms of what's considered quote unquote hotspots uh, for COVID-19 coronavirus um, and how many cases are confirmed in those countries. Um, so once again, you know, while we do not have uh, an actual policy right now, we are asking and encouraging you to take uh, precautionary measures in order that we all stay safe uh, and healthy uh, throughout this uh, time. And that's important during the spring break time when we do have parents who may be going over um, mm -hmm. traveling for spring break. So uh, please keep us up, updated on where, where you guys are headed so we can keep our schools uh, safe. Uh, something else, uh, parents and guardians, um, your RDS information, your contact information that each is in each one of our schools has to be updated. Uh, I know there are some parents that we can't get a hold of um, in the middle school building because we don't have updated numbers. Um, and addresses for that, um, that also. So please make sure you call the appropriate school and update any numbers. You know, if we had to go to a e-learning day or something, uh, we need to make sure that um, we have the correct numbers to get the communication across to you guys. Again, I just want to reiterate that our main goal is to keep open lines of communication. Please make sure that you are checking out Calumet and Lake Ridge Middle's Facebook page. Um, they'll keep it updated with important information. If you have a child at Longfellow, I encourage you to continue to check Dojo for different updates. If you are not on Dojo, please contact your child's teacher so that they can send you an invite and you can be informed as well. And just some final thoughts. As some of us may feel that the world is coming undone, uh, that the wheels are falling off the axle, I encourage you to inform yourself, educate yourself as much as possible. Uh, as both uh, Mr. Mick and Ms. Harris said, uh, keep lines of communication open. Uh, we can make sure that we take uh, proactive measures in order for all of us to stay healthy uh, and that we have plans in place uh, in order for student learning to uh, continue uh, in the event that we have to interrupt our normal school day. I think the bottom line is this. We, we, we come together as one, as the science says behind us, as, as the th three schools, um, but we can't do it alone, okay? Community, parents, grandparents, we need your help in this situation. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, you can always contact one of our schools. You can contact uh, Central Office. 
and we are more than happy to help you any way that we can and guide you in that direction. So again, we thank you very much for watching um, and feel free to share this video with any community member or anyone else that needs this information. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.